I don't know if I ever divulged this secret, but I'm really a football player that happened to love basketball. I like to tell people jokingly that I am the reason that big guys do not want to play in the paint anymore. Before I fell in love with Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, Two Tall Jones and Mean Joan Green was my guy. So when I came to the game, I realized that I was good, but I wasn't that good. I was okay fundamentally sound, but I had to create a niche. So my niche in high school, I was taller than everybody, okay? My niche in college was long, athletic, wasn't really a lot of long and athletic guys. Big guys were hot at the time. Maybe you can be the first pick. There's two other guys, Alonzo Martin and Christian Leitner. Now when I get to the NBA, I'm like, damn, David Robinson runs faster. Patrick Ewing shoots better. Akeem Olajuwon has all the moves. I'm stronger. Let me, let me beat these guys up. Let me beef up. Uh, I saw guys stay away from battling, the, battling me. The game plan would be, we got to bring Shaq out. It's hard to play down there because when you're that big, you don't get calls, right? People always used to say, Shaq, you take a beating. It wasn't a beating. I loved it. I love physicality. Football, that's what we do. If I didn't take a beating, I didn't feel like I was playing hard enough. The beating that I took was a sign of respect that you couldn't stop me. I didn't get a lot of calls and used to complain all the time. One thing I love about David Stern is he was real. So we go in his office one day, because I'm at, I'm at the end, and I'm letting him know, Mr. Stern, next time somebody hack shack me, I don't mind taking 15, 20 games. And he says, son, if we call every file that was committed on you, the game will last four hours. And I thought about it, like, you're right. And he says, Shaq, you're over here complaining about fouling? I got 2018s complaining about you. And I thought about it, and I was like, and I'm all about the game. I don't want to shoot 100 free throws anyway. I don't. I don't want to read Shaq 20 out of 100. I don't want to, let's, let's just play. And then I said to myself, okay, I'm not getting the calls. If I could withstand that and play through that, I'd be unstoppable. So I had to program myself not to really worry about it. But the more physical I became, I just seen all the other centers do this. They just slowly, slowly keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And now, 15, 20 years later, you got guys shooting threes. It's cute. It's not something I would do. And somebody asked me the other day, oh, Shaq couldn't play today. But you're not paying attention. I am playing today. My name is Greek Freak. Who was the first big guy to take it coast to coast? Oh, you don't remember? Check this play out. I play just like Greek Freak. Take it off the glass, high percentage shots. High percentage shots. I shoot a three every now and then, so I would actually love to play in this game. It's less physical. I would bring a, a, a little bit more physicality. I would bring my length, I would bring my athleticness, and I'd be Greek Freak. So before you say Shaq can't play in this era today, I'm already playing. My name is Giannis Antetokounmpo, however you pronounce it. So when you watch the game today, all the centers that are playing, is there one that you say, well, he could dominate in the post? It's one or two guys, I think, that if they put their mind and effort to it, they could dominate in the post. One is a New Jersey native, goes by the name of, of Carl Anthony Towns. He's fundamentally sound, he's long, and he can shoot. The advantage he has is they're not going to double team you, so you're down there one-on-one. -on -one. Go to work. The other guy is Joel Embiid. Bigger, beefier. You should be able to punish down there. But these guys like shooting jumpers. Yes, it's pretty, but at the center position, you're supposed to be the most efficient piece on the floor. Like, us, back when I played, you know, you got guys shooting 57, 60, 62, 63, 64 percent. Like if I didn't shoot over over 70%, I was upset. But now, 
You know, I, I was always taught the things that are difficult, you have to make it simple. So instead of stretching out and shooting threes, you should dominate in the post. Uh, Joker is a guy that could that could do work in the post. I don't think he can, be, he can be dominant, but he can be effective. So they're not in part because all the analytics guys from those respective teams are telling them this is no longer a high percentage shot. What do you say to those guys? If you got a skilled guy like me playing in the post, you can't tell me it's not a high percentage shot. Right now you got a lot of unskilled guys trying to play the post who don't like taking the contact which makes the analytic numbers sound about right. And then if you already don't want to feel the contact and you're looking at something that's in your favor, it's just going to push you out even more. But it's not true. Analytics are numbers and stats and all that, but they can be broken. And they could be broken by something called adrenaline. Like they always used to say, don't let Shaq go middle. But if it's playoff time, I'm going to fake middle and go baseline. And I'm going to kill you that way. Or every time Shaq turns back over the right shoulder, he's 40%. Not today. This is playoffs. Oh, you foul Shaq today. You know, foul him, he's shooting 60%. But how many times have they tried that in the final? It's the one factor that, that, that can always break analytics is, is, is adrenaline. So, you know, the, he shoots 2 or 10 from here. But some guys, when they get it going, they just get it going. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing you can do about it. My contention is if a, a big man comes in and wants to dominate, he could dominate, and easily, because we have been away, we have shifted away from physicality and shifted away from all that. Teams don't know how to play anymore. Like right now, teams are switching one to five. I wish Spud Webb would have switched out on me. I wish Doc Rivers would have switched out on me. It, like, so if you get another guy that comes in, it'll be like it was back in the old day. It'll be one guy that you got to change your defenses for. But he would have to be like so dominant because, you know, he'd have to he'd have to average you'd have to be like you'd have to be like Greek freak but in the post. See Greek Freak is averaging twenty eight. His, his twenty eight is this. If you get a guy that just stays in that area and does that, then the game will start to shift back. But Kenny Smith said something one time and it made a lot of sense. He said that all the pro players that you're watching now we were products of their environment. And it was true. Because when I was coming up, big guys didn't shoot jumpers. I watch Ewan. And I watch, I watch all these guys, Kareem. We never shot jumpers, right? So then I'm pushing all these guys and beating all these guys out. And here comes Dirk and, all, and Garnett and all these guys. Now you got the guys watching them. And they're saying, I can't do what Shaq do. I can do what he do. And they go outside and practice that. And then you got a couple guys that like the physicality and they watch me. Like, I wasn't watching David Robson. I, I'm not that skilled. I'm not. I'm not watching, you know, guys that were fundamentally sound and, you know, study the game. And I couldn't watch that. I, I watched guys that were ferocious, guys that had tenacity, guys that, that, you know, wanted to fight, dive on the floor, all that stuff. So when Kenny said that, it made a lot of sense. So all these guys that are playing now, they're products of Dirk, Garnett, a little Duncan. And so, you know, when I hear that the last big man MVP was me, it's kind of flattering. I just want to see how, how long it lasts. The evolution of this pace and space game. Big man could do more. That's stupid and asinine. It's cute. You're better off shooting the three. I'd be Michael Jordan in, in this era. I'm old school. You have to adapt. Uh, or change sports. <laughs>